Okay, we have to solve this differential equation. The first thing we will do is we will put it into the following form. m dx plus n dy equals zero. Because once it's in this form, we can check to see if it's what's called an exact differential equation. So it's pretty easy to put it in this form. All you have to do is basically multiply everything by dy. So we'll put a dy here, put a dy here, and put one here. So these will cancel. And so this will give us x squared y cubed minus 1 over 1 plus 9x squared. And then we have our dx plus, and then here we'll have x cubed y squared dy. And all of this is equal to 0. Good stuff. Okay, so we have to check if it's exact. So what you do is you call this piece M and you call this piece N. And you have to compute the following partial derivatives. So first you compute del M, del Y. And a really easy memory trick is that there's a DX here, so it's always the other variable. It makes it really easy. When you compute del M, del Y, um, the derivative of x is 0. All the x's are constant. So when we take the derivative of this piece here, it's going to be 3x squared y squared, because you bring 3 down and subtract 1. And then this derivative is going to be 0, thankfully, so because it's all a constant, so it goes away. Then we compute del n del x. So now all of the y's are constants. And again, the trick to memorize this partial is that there's a y here, so it's the other variable here. So taking the derivative with respect to x, the y squared is a constant, so we will get 3x squared y squared. Yeah, it looks good. Ah, it's good. So they are the same. So the differential equation is said to be exact. So what this means is that there is some, some function f such that del f del x dx plus del f del y dy equals zero. Okay, so there is some unknown function so that this is satisfied. In particular, that means that m, this piece here, is del f del x and n is del f del y. Okay, so to solve the DE, we just have to retrieve F. So there's a couple ways to do that. The easiest way, and the way that I I typically do it, is I integrate the first piece with respect to X, integrate the second piece with respect to Y, and then just set them equal to each other and go from there. So let's do that. So when we integrate this first piece with respect to X, we first have to integrate the X squared Y cubed. So the Y cubed is a constant, so we will get X cubed over 3, times y cubed, and then minus. And now we have to integrate this second piece. So this integral does require a little bit of work. So I'm going to go to the side over here and show you how to do it. It's probably the hardest part of the problem. So we have 1 over 1 plus 9x squared dx. So the key here is to use uh, the following formula. If you have if you have 1 over a squared plus x squared dx, this is a really important formula. It's totally worth knowing. This is 1 over a arctangent of x over a plus a constant c. So you see we're almost there. So what we do here is we write this as 1 over 1 squared plus, and then we take the 9x squared and we write it as parentheses 3x squared dx. And then we make a u substitution. So we'll let say u equal 3x. So that means that du is equal to 3dx. And then you see there's no 3 in the integral up here. So we divide by 3. So this is, this implies that 1 third implies, it's an arrow, <laughs> 1 third du is equal to dx. So 
So I'm going to squeeze it in here. So this is one third du one plus u squared. And I'm going to write the answer over here. So it'll be one third. And then a is one, so it's one over one, so it's just one. So it's arctan. Okay, arctan. This is one third arctan u plus c. But we don't worry about the plus c. So it's u over one, and instead of u, it's 3x. So it's just 3x. Okay, and then we add an unknown function of the other variable. We integrate it with respect to um, x, so we add an unknown function of y. So again, this integral does require some work, but it's not, it's not too hard. It's like an, it's like an easier uh, calculus 2 type integral. Over here, we have to integrate this with respect to um, y. So that means x cubed is constant. So this will be x cubed, y cubed over 3. And then we integrate it with respect to y, so we add an unknown function of x, so plus, say, h of x. Okay, now we can write the answer down. So to write the answer down, you just read it left to right, and you write down what you see. So this is one-third x cubed y cubed minus one-third arctan 3x. G of y, we don't write it. And then we already wrote this down. So we don't write it again. And then you set your final answer equal to C always, every single time. The reason you do this is because this is actually just F. And this is actually just F. So you're just using matching, right? This whole thing is F. These are equal. So if something shows up twice, you don't, you don't write it twice. You just try to pick apart all the unique things from each side. And then you set it equal to C at the end. Really, really important. That's it.